absolutely insane. And I'm surprised he's been able to keep up economically. Uh, looks like Whitera getting a robotics facility. Most likely going to be getting an observer and possibly even uh, getting Colossus out to deal with these speedlings. That would be a very wise unit to get indeed. And here we go. Speed has been researched. Burrow is also being researched as well. So we might see some Baneling action for TLO if he decides to get Banelings and Burrow them under the Protoss between the main and the natural. We've seen him do that before. But here we go. The speedlings getting up into the mineral line. And they are going to go right for those probes. More speedlings running up from the right side, and this is what I'm talking about. You can abuse this map so easily with speedlings, and it does look like Whitera has pre-anticipated this. He does have a zealot up there to block the zerglings from running up the ramp, but there are still speedlings attacking these stalkers. The stalkers are going down, the probes are forced to fight, and now the opening has been opened. Open says me, says the Zerglings, and the Zerglings are going to run straight into the main mineral line, but of course, White are going to warp in two Zealots right there, which is going to help drastically at keeping those probes alive, but TLO Relentless going to continue to pour on the hurt with these Speedlings. His current income tab is 24 under 34, so his income definitely lower than White Ra, and so he has to make this attack count. He has to kill as many probes as possible, but White right here blocking off right there with those Zealots in a very nice position and more nice block offs by the Protoss player getting that force field up on that ramp and TLO here is finding himself a little bit perplexed I would say he's not able to do as much damage as he wants to with these speedlings gonna once again try to muscle his way up this ramp but he is not going to be able to my goodness White Red is just playing so well he split his forces apart. He does have a sentry there. Is he going to get the force field off? There goes the force field. Nice play by White Ra. Once again, deflecting the Zerglings from getting in there. And TLO is finally starting to realize this method is not working. I've got a tech switch. I've got to do something else. I can't keep producing speedlings. But here he's continuing. He, he did find his way beyond the force field. But another force field goes down. And TLO is just not killing the probes he needs to kill. But he is starting to catch up in the income just slightly. 36 under 37 once again engaging with the speedlings and what I wanted to say is TLO right now is getting a spire so he is gonna try to tech switch into Mutalis I would assume um, and that's a wise decision. I think uh, Mutaling is very possible, very powerful, and of course we do have a robotics bay, robotics support bay, so there is a Colossus being chrono boosted out right now, and the Colossus is just so good against speedlings. It's not even funny how good they are against speedlings, especially in mass. So he really does need to make that tech switch happen, and he's getting a nice unit. The Mutalist can also harass uh, Colossus very effectively as well. More speedlings still um, in between the main and the natural and right now if TLO had Banelings oh my goodness that'd be so good because he could burrow Banelings between the two bases and stop all movement between the two main and natural but he is just going to burrow standard speedlings right now. He is getting weapons upgrades for his Mutalist. Wow, I did not expect him to get weapons upgrade this early on, but he is going to get weapons. He only has three Mutas, though, and uh, I, I do want to call attention to how he's spreading the creep very nicely on the minimap. Notice that. Getting that creep super highway, as I always call it. And, of course, the Mutalist engaging here at the main, but there's just three. It's not going to be enough for TLO, and Germany here going to be forced to fall back. Um... He's just going to need more Mutalist, man. He needs to uh, intensify forward firepower on the Protoss main. Uh, and he's just not been able to do it. It's uh, it's just not working as well as he wants it to. As the, the Speedlings are still burrowed between the two bases here. White Rush starting to transition. He's starting to feel a little bit more safe. He has two Colossus out right now. War of the Worlds here. Eat your heart out. He has two Colossus on the map. Along with a nice healthy force of Zealots and Sentries. And so he's looking pretty good right now. Um, and I would even say both players relatively even. Perhaps TLO slightly ahead. Because TLO is getting that gold expansion up at the nine o'clock or at the three o'clock location so he he should have a third expansion saturated relatively soon and uh, White right here is getting the extended Thermal Lance for the Colossus. TLO has more Mutalists out right now. And that is enough Mutalists. That's around 7, I believe. That's enough to do some serious hurt to the Protoss main because there's only one cannon. Uh, but it looks like uh, White Ra has enough forces on the ground to deflect the Mutalists. So TLO is still not able to do any damage. Um, these Colossus actually walking dangerously close to the Speedlings. And White Ra, no, White Ra is DCing. White Ra is lagging out. I sure hope. He does not disconnect from this game. 
Oh, what a shame that would be if he disconnects right now because um, I'm not sure if he disconnects if it would be a 2-1 if they would grant the win to TLO or if it would be a rematch. But this game was definitely shaping up to be the most interesting game so far with that crazy uh, Zergling harass from TLO earlier on. He was attacking the main, attacking the natural, attacking the natural from the top, the side. He was going balls out bonkers with the Zerglings and unfortunately it looks like White Ra is going to possibly DC here. Not going to be cool at all. But uh, yeah, it looks like, you know, it's hard because they're both playing on the United States, the North American servers, and of course they're from Europe. And the Europe servers are currently down right now at 9 in the morning. And so they have to play cross-continental. White Road does DC. So TLO, I believe, is going to take the win. We'll find out in the next broadcast as we are going to move on. So unfortunately, DC there. But I hope you guys enjoyed that cast up to that point. And of course, um, I'll keep you guys posted. So thanks a lot, guys. And of course, subscribe if you guys like what you see. HD signing out.